what I want to show you today is how to measure the spatial resonant frequency of a coil. Now this is in small letters SRF and should not be confused with self resonant frequency or capital SRF which is known in the industry and has a standard on how you usually go about measuring the self resonant frequency of a coil. Here again SRF or spatial resonant frequency is totally different. What you want to do is isolate your coil Preferably, if you could get it clear of, of all metal objects at least a foot around, you're going to get your sharpest response and get it right down to a few hundred cycles to know exactly what this peak is. Here what I have is a uh, probe from my spectrum analyzer, which you can see up here. Here is just a probe of an oscilloscope, which is just laying here. It's not connected to anything. Here is the probe off of a Booten millivoltmeter, RF millivoltmeter. So we're going to use three different instruments to ascertain the self resonant frequency or the spatial resonant frequency. See, I even confused myself of this particular coil. This is basically an L3 coil that goes along with sec exciters. So let me go ahead and show you. We'll take and get the scope on. And what I'm going to do is I have a signal generator which is capable of going up to 20 megahertz. I'm going to use this cheapy here rather than the rather than the HP because it's a little faster to tune. But what we want to do is we want to take and tune so that our signal indicators are at maximum. Now as I tune this off frequency, look at how that dips on the oscilloscope. And if you look on the spectrum analyzer, you're going to see that right there is the maximum frequency also. If we look up here at this Booten RF voltmeter, if you watch the voltmeter, as I go through the frequency, you'll see that right there should be the peak. And that agrees with both the spectrum analyzer and with the oscilloscope. And as far as frequency goes, the generator, we don't want to depend too much on it. Uh, we won't use the scope for it. We'll take a look at what the marker says on the spectrum analyzer. And it says 16.8 megahertz is the spatial resonant frequency of this particular coil. Now if you want to get more accurate, what you would want to do is hook up something like a frequency counter to it and then you can get right down there where you can see down to the couple hundred cycles or even lower. But this is a pretty good indicator of how you go about it. You leave one end of the coil open, as you see right here. You're driving that coil with only the hot end of the signal generator. You're tuning the signal generator while you're watching it with one or more various indicators. And what you want to do is look for that peak response. You should only see one where you have that monstrous response. And we get right here and there we are again. Okay, so I hope that clears up the point on how you go about trying to determine the spatial resonant frequency of a coil. It is totally different than the self resonant frequency. And when I talk about set exciters and try to explain what's going on there, you need to be concerned with the spatial resonant frequency and not the self resonant frequency.